Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to drain water from a dishwasher. In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the basic steps for getting rid of any remaining water or standing water in your dishwasher. Let's get right into the video. The first thing that you want to try is allowing the dishwasher to run a regular cycle to allow it to naturally get rid of the water. So basically, when you turn on your dishwasher and you make it start a cycle, so let's say I was going to do a normal wash, I would just get it ready to do a regular cycle. When you hit the start button or when you start that cycle, in most cases, most dishwasher washers the pump will drain the water first so you hear the pump going and it's draining the water then it's going to pause for a few moments and then it's going to fill with new water um, and that's the first step so you want to start a regular cycle you're going to start it you're going to let that pump go and drain out the water and then when it pauses you're going to cancel that cycle because you're going to allow it to drain the water that's in there and then you're going to cancel the cycle before it fills with new water, okay? Um, and obviously I don't need to do that because my dishwasher doesn't have any standing water, but that's the first step. Then if that doesn't work, the second step is gonna be to check your drain filter. Now, if you open up your dishwasher and you look, and you look at the bottom, you take a look at the bottom, you're gonna likely find a drain filter. As you can see here, that is my drain filter. Um, and see if you see any debris in there or any dirt or any food. It's really easy to clean for the most part. I've done a separate video on it so you can look up that video on how to clean a uh, drain a drain trap in a dishwasher. Um, but essentially, most of the time, you're just going to unscrew this. You're going to turn this counterclockwise. It's going to allow you to lift up both of those filters right there. Um, you're gonna clean them and then put them back in place. And then hopefully that's, that's what was causing it, sorry about that, that's what was causing your dishwasher to uh, not drain the water. And hopefully that fixes it. If that doesn't work, then it could be a problem with the actual drain hose, okay? So basically, inside of your dishwasher, there's that pump, that filter in that pump that sends the water through the drain hose. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look underneath the sink that is near the dishwasher. So we have the dishwasher here, and then there's a hose, okay? I actually did this myself, so I know um, exactly what this looks like. So underneath the sink right over here, um, the dishwasher is right there, and that's the drain hose. You're gonna look for a hose that's connected to the drain. Separate from the actual supply line, which is down there, let's see if we can see it over here. The supply line is, is actually down there, not that. You're looking for the one that's connected to the drain. You wanna take a look, see if you see, you can hold a flashlight to it, you want to see if you see any shadows of anything that's caught in there, which there shouldn't be because you should have a, uh, a uh, drain filter like I showed you. Um, you're going to look for any shadows, you're going to look for any kinks, if there's any bends, you're, you're going to want to try and clear that for the most part, okay? You're going to want to clear that. You can also, if, if you're comfortable with it, you can also remove it from its connection and sort of look inside, see what you see, and then connect it back again, but that's only if you're comfortable because if it's not connected properly, then the drain water is just going to end up making a mess all in your kitchen. Um, so that's only if you're comfortable. And last but not least, if your uh, dishwasher is not draining, the fourth thing is like the worst case scenario, which is um, essentially uh, you haven't found the, the solution to the problem. It could be your pump itself, it could be the entire dishwasher, but if you want to get rid of that water, what you can do, and this is the worst case scenario, is just take a rag and um, just use that rag to soak up the water and then, you know, put it in the sink and then just keep doing that. Um, and like I said, if you really want to get rid of any water that you have in there, you can actually remove the uh, drain filter and then use the rag in there also to get any remaining water in there because even if you get all of this there's still water likely inside of that drain filter area so that's basically it in this video I have told told you and shown you how to drain water from a dishwasher if you have standing water or still water inside of your dishwasher and you want to drain it then um, you should definitely try the methods that I've told you about and hopefully you can get it done. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.